Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I want to show you how you can take a very simple photo and transform it into something amazing using the bouquet effect. Guys, shall we begin? So the first thing that we're going to do is that you want to make sure when you bring in your image, you first of all unlock it. Pick up our crop tool and we want to open up. Now you want to fill in these voids. So to do that, you want to pick up your rectangular marquee tool and you want to make a selection of this area. Now watch as Photoshop basically fills this in for you. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK, Command D and it looks so perfect. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So click on your layer and make a selection on the opposite side. Right click and click on content aware and Photoshop is going to basically do the same thing. Now click OK, Command D to deselect. Now we want to merge all the layers. So I'm going to select the bottom layer, hold down shift, select the top, right click and match everything. I know it's amazing what Photoshop can do. So the next thing we want to tackle is how to add a nice gradient effect. So I'm going to go to my gradient adjustment and I'm going to choose gradient. Now we want to move this gradient to an angle so we're going to set it somewhere here like that and I'm going to double click so you can see the color that I'm using and it's 03289A. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and come out of this. But before I do that, if you are not sure how to get the gradient solid to transparent, you want to come under your preset go into your basic and you will see that second option. Now I'm just going to close this off and I want to change my gradient fill and we are going to choose hard light and you see that it gives it a nice effect. Now we want to go ahead and create a copy. So I'm going to click on that layer, command J, make a copy. Now we want to reverse this color on the opposite side. So double click on your gradient. It brings up the gradient option. Now we want to click and change the direction. I'm going to double click and also change the color. So click and choose any color of your choice. And I, I already have a DD0 FD1 that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and OK to come out of this. Now, this is the angle at which I've set this one. You can change it or you can set it to whatever angle you prefer. But this is good for what I want to do. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to add. So the next thing we're going to do is that we want to bring in an image that we will use to create our custom hair light effect. So I already have an image which I will leave in my description a link that y'all can download to practice so i'm going to drop this image in and i'm going to set it right there and i'm going to go ahead and click on my filter and choose blair gallery so we're going to choose filled blair you want to make sure that your book here is at is checked and we are going to go ahead and increase this a little so we have something like this. Now I'm going to increase my light glare effect so we get something a little bit more bigger like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we want to change this blend mode to screen so we have something like this. Now I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to set it somewhere here. And we have this effect. I'm going to scale it just a little and set that right there. Double click. Now you notice that there's a little line here. So to avoid seeing this line, add a layer max to your layer and then pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. Go ahead and pick 
a brush with a soft edge so your hardness should be at zero come out of this now you want to go ahead and brush in this area to hide the line and make sure that you are on your thumbnail for the layer max now to finish this off we're going to add a color look up so go under adjustment and then choose color look up now we want to go under property and change our settings to Fuji Funner. So you have this cool and very vibrant effect. Now we want to come back into this. If it's too much on the face, you can go ahead and rescale it. So you have it a little bit away from the face, but I like this effect. Now, the last thing we're going to do is that we want to go ahead and add a camera raw effect. So click on your top layer and hold down shift option command E. Now that creates one file for you. Now you can click, make sure that layer is selected, go to filter and choose camera raw filter. And we can go ahead and basically play with our different settings that we have here. You can increase the contrast if you want, and you can also increase your highlights it all depends on how you want it it's just playing with the different settings to achieve the final look that you want now you can click ok so you can see this is the before and this is the after i hope you found this tutorial helpful please like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads bye y'all